Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrenta Sampson and I help health conscious consumers remove toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we have Core Hydration Water versus Fiji. We're gonna test the two for three distinct things to find out which water is the better of the two, all right? So if you haven't seen any of these videos before, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can see more tips, tricks, and solutions that will help you improve your wellness. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna test for three distinct things, all right? The first one is antioxidants. Our water should be full of antioxidants. Second is alkalinity, and third is superior hydration. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this going. So we got core hydration water and it is I don't know I don't know which one people are rooting for which one are you rooting for let me know in the comments below all right and then next up we have Fiji is it a small bottle right here and Fiji is supposed to be <laughs> so Fiji water is supposed to be found in Fiji like that's it so it's be untouched it's supposed to be all natural so we're gonna see it compares. I hope I got them both around the same height. So the first thing we're test for is antioxidants. Antioxidants are essentially found in youth. They are awesome because we have all these things around us known as free radicals. They create problems in the body, in our cells, right? They're going around taking electrons from healthy cells. That makes those cells oxidizing, which then creates inflammation. That oxidation and inflammation process constantly repeats itself and it is known to be the main reasons why we experience sickness and illness in mankind, all right? Prime example are these bananas. These bananas are looking nasty because of oxidation happening, right? And so they are positively charged. They <laughs> create aging, inflammation of the body, and ultimately lead to sickness. So we got antioxidants and that's what we should be consuming all the time. Those are your fruits, your veggies, your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E's. Those are going to neutralize those free radicals by giving them the electron that they need. They can cancel out. Stored negatively charged, reduces the oxidation, reduces inflammation, which is any type of itis. So if you're experiencing bronchitis, tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, you should drink things and consume things that have antioxidants. Essentially the fountain of youth is going to keep us looking younger. So how are we gonna test that? We are gonna use an ORP meter. This ORP meter is going to let us know if it's an oxidant, because it's gonna be a positive number, or if it's an antioxidant, because you're gonna see a negative number. All right, so let's see what we get. I don't know which one's a challenger, which one's the champ in this one, but we're gonna start off with core hydration water. Let's see what we get. And we are getting 198, 200. 213 is going up a little bit. 230, 240. Waiting for it to slow down. 245. All right, so core hydration is at 245. Let's see what we get with our Fiji water. Fiji water is sitting at a 270. 273, 274, that was going up. All right, so clearly Fiji water is more oxidizing than core hydration. And here's the thing though, we don't know when this was bottled. Core hydration could have just been bottled recently, while Fiji water could have been bottled like 20 years ago, <laughs> right? So it just depends on when the water was made. This could have easily been swapped around to where the core water that I picked up could have been around for ages and this water could have been hot off the shelves like at least six months. <laughs> so it just depends, but here's the thing, they're both oxidizing and they're both creating aging and sickness in the body. So today Fiji wins this round, but ultimately they're both bad for us. As far as oxidation, they're both creating sickness. All right, so just keep that in mind as we go on to our second test. All right, so that second test that we're gonna do now is on alkalinity. 
disease cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So our water that we're consuming should help keep our body in that alkaline state. If not, if it's acidic water that's gonna end up not only eating the electrolytes and minerals that we have, but if our body doesn't have as many, it's not, if we're not creating more and putting more into our body, it's gonna start taking it from us. It's gonna start taking it from our skin, our bones, joints, and ligaments. This is how osteoporosis happens, how eczema happens, so many different things like that. And if it continues, it's how Alzheimer's happens. It's gonna start, start taking it from our brain, all right? So we're gonna use these pH drops and we're gonna put a few drops in and we're gonna see what color we get, all right? If we see a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means that it is acidic, is eating the minerals that we need in our body. If we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, it means it's alkaline and it's actually either providing that minerals or it's ensuring our body stays mineral strong. All right. Let's go and put a few drops in. Ho oh, ho! They both look really even, right? So, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna have to battle test these to see which one actually, just to make sure that they actually maintain their pH, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I have a straw and I'm gonna go ahead and blow into each of these. And the reason why is because I wanna make sure these are not chemically altered, all right? So the bottle of water industry is famous for this. It's an $18 billion industry and they know they can get people's money by putting alkaline water on the bottle. Because they chemically alter the water, I can chemically alter the water by blowing into it. If it is true alkaline water, true, if its pH is true, then it won't change color. If it changes color, then we get to see its true pH, right? Let's go ahead and check out core hydration first. Uh-oh, core hydration, change colors, all right. Let's go ahead and check out Fiji water. Fiji water didn't change color. So, core hydration is losing in this battle, and it makes sense when you look at the back of it. It is purified water by reverse osmosis, which takes everything out. And then they're adding in calcium chloride, which is essentially, it is salt used to de-isorose. The second thing is magnesium chloride, which is another inorganic salt. And then third is potassium bicarbonate, which is the equivalent to baking soda. So because they're adding these things in here, the water is coming out a different color, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so uh, Fiji water is, natural water that comes from Fiji Islands and you just bottle it that's it they don't add anything to the water so for this test it looks like Fiji maybe Fiji is the winner yeah we just say Fiji is the winner here right but if you're curious on if there's a water that actually shows that purple and dark purple that absolutely is so you want to stay tuned make sure you check out other videos I have on YouTube visit my website LaprentisSampson.com or Check me out on Facebook to see some of those other waters. Next up is superior hydration. All right, the last test is on superior hydration. It's pretty much where I take this tea bag that is pretty awesome, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and see if it actually absorbs into the tea bag and pull out the nutrients, right? Because our tea bag is essentially dehydrated, it needs water. And so if it's actually fully hydrated, it's gonna actually pull out the nutrients. We use this as an example to see how it's going to hydrate us at a cellular level. So let's start off with core hydrate. See what we get. All right, so it's not, it's not really making tea. So yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> we got Fiji water here. Fiji water also is not making tea. So neither one of these looks like is able to hydrate us at the rate that we want to be hydrated in. And you're probably thinking, well, this is even possible. Like every time we make tea, we have to boil it. Like why, why are you trying to 
get superior hydration? Why are you trying to boil? Why are you trying to make tea without boiling the water? You think it's not possible. But I'm gonna reach over here. I'm gonna grab this random water. And let's see what we get. So it is possible. I'm not, I'm not doing a, a prank or a trick or anything like that. I just want to let you know that we can make tea with regular cold water. See, I'm sticking my finger in it. I'm not burning to death. <laughs> but neither of these waters are able to do that. So they're essentially a tie. That's kind of how I see it. All right, so there you have it. You see, I went ahead and I tested core hydration water versus Fiji water for three specific things. The first one was antioxidants. When we did this test, we discovered that both of them are oxidizing, which are ultimately gonna to lead to sickness and disease in our body, but Fiji was the higher one at this time. But once again, it could have easily been flip-flopped. Just depends on when each one was created, shipped out to the stores, and how long they've been sitting out <laughs> before it got in my hands. The second thing we tested for was alkalinity. And we saw that they both start off about the same. They both start between 7.5 and 8. However, when we did the test to make sure that they actually kept their pH, core hydration fell off because it has inorganic minerals in it, while Fiji water ended up staying the same. Last but not least, we tested for superior hydration. Our water should actually hydrate us at a cellular level. And neither one of these were able to do it well with the tea bag, right? So, and you'll know that because when you go off and buy one of these waters, if you drink a large sum of it, it'll sit in your stomach. And you're like, man, why is this Why is this in my stomach? Why isn't this gone? And it'll just sit there the whole time. You can't do anything. You're like, oh my gosh. It's because neither one of these are actually able to get into your body at a cellular level. So ultimately, the winner between the two, I would say would be Fiji, but you're really losing by drinking it. Want to know water that's actually good for your health, that's actually good for your skin, good for your body that actually absorbs into your body as you're drinking it, one that's full of antioxidants, one that has strong alkalinity that can't get destroyed by my breath. I know, sounds tough, right? But check out my Facebook page, check out LaPrentisSampson.com also, and you can discover a water that is actually really good for you. That's gonna help you push out those toxins and allow your body to even heal itself with all those itis we were talking about earlier. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, or if not, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you change your water, you change your world. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one.